Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about uh, ellipse. So this is the first video on ellipse. So in this video we're going to be defining what an ellipse is. So let's go ahead and do that. So you know an ellipse looks something like this. You know it's not a circle. It's kind of a you know suppressed, depressed circle. Uh, and kind of a little flat on the top and on the bottom side, you know, a little flat. So how do you actually define a uh, ellipse? Now, as we knew that in a circle, uh, there is a center point which is equidistant from all the points on the circle. Likewise, an ellipse has two points. It has two points. Let's say these are the two points. These are known as the focus of, so this is the first focus that is uh, it's known as the focus of this uh, ellipse. This is also known as the focus of this ellipse. And together they are known as the foci of the ellipse. So together F1 and F2, they are known as the foci of the ellipse. Right. So that's there. Now what's the importance of these points? Now, if I let's suppose I pick up any point on the ellipse, let's suppose I pick up this point, let's suppose this point is P1. The distance of P1 from F1 plus the distance from P1 to F2 is going to be constant. So P1 F1 plus P2 F2 is going to be equal to some constant. That is going to be true for every point. So let's suppose I pick up P2 F2. Uh, and P to F1. So that is also going to be the sum of this distance is also going to be a constant. So that is the definition of an ellipse. An ellipse is, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, uh, expect, ex uh, you know, explain it to you in written words. An ellipse is uh, a set of all points. So it consists of set of all those points uh, in a plane. So definitely in a plane, it has to be in a plane. Uh, whose sum of distances, so the sum of distance from two fixed points, so sum of distance from two fixed points, so as you clearly see we've talked about these two focus here, from two fixed points is a constant, right, so sum of two fixed points is a constant. So that is the definition of ellipse uh, in which no matter which point you pick up, let's suppose you pick up this point. So the sum of distance of uh, this point uh, from this point and this point from this point is actually going to be equal to the sum of distance from this point to this point and this point to this point. So the sum of distances is actually a constant. Another thing that you should note down is that the sum of distances, let's suppose this constant over here, it's always going to be greater than the distance between f1 and f2. So, you know, this is always going to be greater than the distance between f1 and f2, right? So, I suppose you're understanding what I'm trying to say here. So, this would be the definition of uh, an ellipse. And uh, now, let's go ahead and define some of the components of an ellipse, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, again draw an ellipse look something like this pretty easy to draw and we have two points uh, We have the first focus as f1 and we have the second focus as f2 uh, And uh, the line which is crossing the uh, the focus points uh, is known as the major axis So let's suppose this is a and this is b So the line a b which crosses which crosses through the focus points is known as the major axis and uh, there is another line and the, the, the midpoint of this focus points is going to be this point. Let me call this as O. Now O is something which is the midpoint of the focus points. So that is exactly between two focus points. And the line which cross, crosses through this midpoint, uh, let's say we call this as CD. So CD is actually known as the minor axis. So CD over here is known as the minor axis and this O is known as the center of the ellipse. So O is known as the center of the ellipse, right? So that is there. Another important thing is that this point A and point B are known as the vertices of the ellipse. So, uh, you know, the end points of the major axis 
are the vertices of the ellipse. So this is the this is one vertex and this is one vertex. C and D will not be just A and B will be there, right? And usually what we do is uh, we denote this length. You know, usually we denote this length as C, and even this length is as C. This is there for our future explanations, and uh, we denote this length over here. It's we denote this length by B. And uh, this is B, we already know that this is also B. And uh, again, we denote this whole length as A, right? And this is also A, which means this, this thing will automatically become A minus C, and this thing will automatically become A minus C. So the length of major axis, uh, so the length, so the length of uh, major axis, uh, it's uh, equal to 2 times A because uh, you know this this hole is the major axis which is 2 times a and the length of the minor axis uh, is going to be equal to 2 times uh, b right because this is the minor axis right and distance between two focus points or distance between the foci uh, would be equal to 2 times c because this is the distance between the foci and uh, Another thing that we need to know is there is something known as the semi-major axis, which would be half the major axis that will actually be equal to A. And there is something which is known as the semi-minor axis, which would actually be equal to B. So this is semi-minor axis and this is the semi-major axis, right? So that is half of it. So this would be about this video, guys. In the next video, we're going to be talking about... Uh, you know the relationship between uh, the the the, the semi-major and semi-minor axes. We will be actually coming now with the relationship between C, A, and B. That we'll be doing in the next video. So before we go, guys, this would be the uh, web address that is perfect-scores.com. Just go ahead and explore that. If you want to ask me any question, you can actually ask at perfect-scores.com slash forum and uh, don't forget to give me your valuable like at facebook.com slash perfect scores and if you have any uh, you know if you have you want to give a valuable feedback just give it at perfectscourse89 at gmail.com so this would be about the video guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one